Institute of America. That's where I got my graduate gemologist degree. It is established in 1931 by Robert M. Shipley. Gems and Gemology magazine was first published in 1934. It is a great magazine to read anything about gemology. You can find it on gia.edu. GIA invented many tools that made our lives easier. In 1934, GIA came out with a jeweler's loop with a triple lens. GIA then came out with the first gemological microscope in 1937, which helps us to look into gems or diamonds closely and clearly. In 1940, an American gemologist, Richard T. Lidicott, joins GIA and is named Father of Modern Gemology. In 1953, GIA came out with four C's for diamond grading. This became a standardized grading system for describing the quality of the diamond. Lidicott helps GIA with releasing the first diamond grading reports. It is accepted in the jewelry industry worldwide. Lidicott also opened classes in New York and introduced the diamond grading system. 1956, GIA came up with a way to find whether the diamonds are irradiated to enhance the color. In 1960, the GIA Diamond Dictionary is published. It is widely used in the industry. In 1988, GIA grades the famous 45.52 carats Hope Diamond. In 1999, GIA finds a way to detect diamonds that have been decolorized by high pressure and high temperatures, also named as HPHT treatment. In 2003, GIA identifies chemical vapor deposition diamonds, also named as CV lab-made diamonds. GIA also found a way to detect sapphires that are made from beryllium diffusion techniques to enhance the color. In 2005, this is when GIA creates a cut grid for colorless D to Z round brilliant diamonds. In 2007, GIA starts to issue synthetic diamond grading reports. In 2008, GIA opens labs outside of America in Mumbai, Johannesburg, and more. In 2014, GIA Diamond Check can detect natural and treated or synthetic diamonds. Please like and subscribe and see you next week!